uh, the ritual, I guess, of, of uh, getting ready for a show, day of. Um, most of the time it, it involves like anyone who doesn't have work uh, comes to the house here where we practice uh, and, and packs up everything, which can be range from four or five guitars, drum set, all the amps, and like an entire van full of stuff too. If we're playing a smaller show, maybe just a couple guitars and a couple amps, smaller drum set, uh, load up the van, um, and then make sure the van starts, and then drive to wherever the show is. Well, it's really nice to play a show in Boston because all our friends are there, but it's also a little more nerve-wracking to play in Boston because all our friends are there. Uh, so sometimes I get, especially like uh, when we're, you know, uh, when we're on stage, uh, just seeing people, seeing my roommates in the crowd is kind of, uh, is, a, is a different experience than seeing just general faces. There was one time we played at Rockwood Music Hall in New York and we parked kind of far away and we were, ju we were just loading on stage and I was like, where's my guitar? Uh, and I couldn't find it anywhere. Uh, I was like sure it had been stolen because we weren't watching the stuff or like we were trying to watch it but there's so many people in and out. So I'm running around the venue, we're supposed to be on stage setting up, I'm running around the venue, trying to find the guitar, don't find it, I run to the van, it's like a five minute run, uh, it's not in the van, so now I'm like convinced it's been stolen, I'm like in this really terrible mood, uh, and I run back to the venue, I'm just like, okay, I guess I'll just borrow one, and eventually, I, but I'm like in this awful mood, <laughs> and I'm supposed to be on stage, and I finally, I see it behind a curtain, it had been moved like, literally behind a curtain next to the stage. So I was like, oh my gosh, thank gosh, but my like stress level was so high at this point that we got on stage and I was just, it was like the complete wrong headspace uh, to be in before a show. I was just very stressed and angry and not good. Uh, freaking out. Yeah, freaking out basically. Uh, and so that's something that we've learned is like the, the headspace that you are in bef right before you play and you know when you're getting to the venue is often the same one as when you get on stage so making sure that that can be as stress-free and uh, you know just the right the right you know the right mood is important before because you, you bring it with you on stage As when I came down off the mountain side, and though my legs they gave way by the end of the day. Well, you can prepare as well as you can for it, uh, but it's, you're always going to have new things happening on stage that you didn't expect. Um, it's yeah, usually a technical malfunction or sometimes the monitor level isn't right uh, or there are no monitors, <laughs> so you're just like, I hope that I'm singing in tune. Um, but the, all you can do is just prepare, you know, as much as you can uh, and hope for the best. Because once you're on there, you're, you're on there. You know, you can't. You can't be like, wait a minute. I mean, sometimes you have to, but ideally not. Yeah. <laughs>